Hey everybody, welcome to Burra Tech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the limiting factor that's keeping you from becoming an amazing coder. All right, welcome back. Before we start the video, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you really like this video, please share. Today's featured course is Hello Coding. Get 170 hours of content for a discounted price below. Learn everything from web development to app development to game development, all the way to Python and machine learning. Links are below, and remember that every single dollar that we get from the courses below goes into creating more content. So you wanna become an amazing coder, and you have to ask yourself, what is the limiting factor? What is keeping you from becoming great? The limiting factor is time. The more time you spend actually coding and reading about code, the better you will become. The speed of which you improve is how well you use your time. Even if you don't use your time very well, the more time you spend coding and reading about code, the better you will become. If you want to become a great coder, you can't just spend 20 minutes here, 40 minutes there. You have to spend hours of time coding. And this is the one factor that a lot of people can't do. If you have a regular job and you have weekends, you should spend one of your weekend days completely coding, just like it's another job. If you already have a nine to five job, chances are you spend eight hours a day at work. If you want to become a coder, you need to spend eight hours of your personal time coding. Now this can be just like a real job. You can have breaks and lunch breaks, etc. but you have to spend a chunk of eight hours a day. When I wanted to make an Xbox 360 game years and years ago, I spent all of my personal time learning to code and making the project. There was a lot of mistakes I made along the way, and because of those mistakes and because of the time that I was putting into it, it actually came out as a project and my career skyrocketed as a result. So time is the limiting factor. Another factor is focus. The more focused you are at your task, the better you will become. And this isn't just about coding. If you can focus, and that is doing nothing but the task at hand, Focus is in short supply. The reason is, is that distractions are at an all time high. If you can focus and spend time coding for a few days, you will be a lot better off than people who do coding maybe for 20 minutes, 40 minutes, or even an hour. It's the sustained time that will make you a great coder. Now everybody has trouble focusing, including myself. If you're having trouble focusing, just like me and everybody else, this is normal because distractions, again, are at an all time high. Every kind of social media, or game is designed to keep you in that particular platform as long as possible. So the best thing you can do is shut off your social media altogether. And whenever you go visit the app or the site, you want to say to yourself, this is not helping me in my career, so I should get off of it. Now, I have actually done this and I've seen a significant improvement. I've turned off my Facebook and I only use the social media for maybe 30 minutes at the end of the day to check my messages. Now, not all social media sites are designed equally. I think Reddit is probably one of the better social media sites, but even I have been spending less time in Reddit and more time developing. So if you're going into a deep dive of coding and you really want to focus, you can also turn your phone into airplane mode. And if you're a real pro, you can turn your phone into grayscale. Grayscale will make the phone completely unappealing. By putting your phone in airplane mode, you'll be able to focus at the task at hand. In fact, the only time I am using my phone in these deep dive focused coding sessions is to put on a timer. Now, what I like to do is I like to time my sprints into 20, 30, or 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, unless I'm really in the zone, I'm not going to be as productive. And usually at the 20, 30, or 40 minute mark, I take a small break. This is getting a cup, another cup of coffee, or it's getting some water. Taking a five minute break every so often is actually really good for you. But if you can stretch your focus into 40 minutes or an hour plus of complete focus, then you're gonna really become a great coder. Again, you don't wanna be distracted when you're trying to learn to code, or if you are a coder, you need to make sure that you're not distracted altogether. One thing I like to do is if I'm doing some really hardcore creative coding work, I don't listen to music. The only time I listen to music when I'm coding is when I have to do repetitive work. Now, even the best programmers have some repetitive work to do. And if you have a lot of repetitive work, then you can listen to music. But 90% of the time when I'm coding, I don't listen to music at all. It can get boring, but you want to be 100% focused. Think about it this way. Would you rather spend eight hours listening to music and being distracted or just two hours of complete focus? 
Coding isn't a nine to five job, it's creative and productive. Chances are you've had an hourly job where you've worked nine to five. You have to break out of this mindset and be task and project oriented. This is the way coders work. It can be very hard to break out of this mindset. It took me years, but the best way you can do it is to spend as much personal time coding and as much of that coding time being as focused as possible. Now, once you go through these steps that I've laid out in this video, you'll find that you'll get more work done in less time, and you'll also find that you'll become more productive than your peers. Now, if you can get eight hours of work done in two, you can spend the rest of the day reflecting. And if you've watched the videos here on Brewer Tech, you'll know that reflecting on your next project or your next coding session will make you a better coder. From the outside, it might look like you are being lazy and you're going for a cup of coffee, maybe reading something, but in reality, you are reflecting on your day's work or on your project and you'll become a better coder as a result. Personally, I like to work really hard and then take time off. This is what has worked for me. It doesn't work for everyone, but if you make two hours of time really focused and really productive and spend the rest of the time reflecting on it, I think that's the best way forward. So in conclusion, if you wanna become a really good coder or improve your coding, you need to spend large chunks of time with focused work. It's the focused work that will make you a better coder. All right, so that concludes the video. Thanks for listening and make sure that you like and subscribe. You can also check out our featured course, Hello Coding. Get 170 hours of content for a discounted price below. You can check out some of our other courses below and remember that every single dollar that we get from these courses, we put into producing more content. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video.